I'm excited to introduce to you today the new version of DB Optimizer, DB Optimizer 1.5. And one reason I'm excited about this product is it's going to make performance tuning and optimization on databases a super simple and a fun exercise for everybody, DBAs, developers, and people who have to monitor databases. So I'm going to go, this is what the product look like looks like when it's installed. I'm going to go through a really quick demo. So the first thing we do is add a data source somebody we want to look at, monitor, develop on. I'm going to choose an Oracle database. We, I'm going to use a TNS name, so I refresh my TNS names list, choose one. I'm going to give it my logon credentials, test the connection, it works. Now I could have used direct connection instead of TNS, given it the machine port and SID or service. So here I have my new target, Oracle database. I'm going to double click on it and I get connection to the database where I can browse indexes, functions, procedures, etc. But what I want to show you today is how to optimize the database and how easy it is to optimize the database. And there's two tools for that. It's the bar chart, which is the profiler, and the wrench, which is the SQL tuner. And the other major part of the product is the SQL editor, SQL with a pencil on it. But I'm going to show the two optimization features. And basically these four icons are the heart of the product. Add a target, these two tune it, and then SQL editor for development. So I'm going to click on the bar chart. Let's go in and look and see what our database is doing. The profile wizard comes up. I'm going to take the defaults and we're going to connect to the database. We have two parts. The top is going to be the load on the database. The bottom is going to be a details window. I'm going to shut the details window for now. And here's our main window with the load on the database on top and the top activity section below it. One of the most important things to get a sense of orientation for Oracle database, this is different for each database, but for Oracle it's the max CPU. This is the number of CPUs on the machine and I've got four. And what I can see with these green bars is that my CPU uh, contention or CPU consumption is high. And when the, which is the green bars, green means the average number of sessions on the CPU. And when that green goes above the number of CPUs, it means not that there's more that many users on the CPU, but there's that many users that want the CPU. If there's only four, then any, any extra users are waiting for the CPU. It represents CPU contention. So this database is um, peaking up above the max CPU. And what if I, as a DBA, if I want to tune that, if I want to improve it, if I, if I want to help those users that are actually waiting for CPU and can't get on it, what could I do? Of course, I could add more CPU to the machine, but usually as a DBA, that's not an option. You know, it takes months of deliberation and meetings. What I can do as a DBA is tune the database. And since there's no bottlenecks, this chart would represent any bottlenecks. Um, the only thing I can look at is, where is that CPU consumption coming from? And to find out, we look at the top activity section right below the load chart. On the left, I have my SQL. On the right, I have my sessions, users. And in the middle, I have what kind of activity. If there are any bottlenecks, we'd see it here. In this case, I see I have one SQL statement taking up all the CPU on the on database. So if I can tune the SQL, as much as I can tune the SQL, that's how much CPU I can get back. If, for example, this uh, SQL wasn't being run at all, then the database would be idle. If I could tune the SQL statement 99%, then I'd reduce the CPU usage by 99%. Now, the really cool thing in this tool is we've already done some super cool stuff. We saw what the load is on the database with the default tools like... Um, on Oracle Stats Pack that gives a 30-page report on the database. It takes time and energy and, and a lot of expert knowledge to figure out what the load is on the database. And that can only be run once every 15 minutes. Usually it's not recommended to run any faster. This we know immediately what the load is. And not only that, we can find out where the load's coming from. And if there's a C SQL statement that's eating up a lot of CPU, we see it immediately. Now it can go even cooler. So I right-click on it and I get a menu. And the bottom of the menu says Tune. So I'm going to click Tune. And this is going to send us to the other part of the product. Remember at the beginning I showed the bar chart for load and the wrench for tuning? This is the tuner. And the tuner will take that SQL statement that's eating a lot of CPU and see if it can find a better, ex a more efficient execution path. So I'm going to click on the Generated Cases tab and I'm going to expand the plus sign. And we see it's already actually gone through all the um, hints. There are over 80 hints in Oracle. It's taken those hints, applied it to the SQL statement, and um, seeing if it can find any other execution plans. So I'm going to go ahead and hit ex execute so I can talk while it's executing. For each of these plans I'm going to execute it and we'll see how long it took and how many resources it used. 
uh, for the hints that produce the same execution path, um, SQL Tuner and DB Optimizer throws those out. It only shows one hint per execution path. And see these little blue circles with the white X in it? These are queries that took longer than the base case. We're not, I'm interested in optimizing the queries, so I don't care about those queries that took longer than the base case. What I'm interested in are those execution paths that are quicker. So now we've gone through all of them, and uh, we can sort by elapsed time. And we can see that this index FFS, fast full scan, is faster. We can also look at logical reads. This is a very important column. And see that it took 79,000 logical reads for the base case and only 8,000, one-tenth of the logical reads for the optimized case. So what can I do now? Well, here's the query. Here are the hints that uh, DB Optimizer put into it. I can just, this work, and again, this works on DB2, SQL Server, Sybase, and Oracle. So I can just, I'm going to say select all, copy it. I'm going to go into my application. This is the query that I'm running in a loop by uh, several users. And I'm going to paste in that new query. The only difference in this query is the hints that is put into it. So this is a very complex query, and uh, I'm going to save that and exit. So now my, opt my, my application that's reading that SQL file will now be executing the query with the hints in it. So it's the same query, it just has hints in it. Now the question is, what does that do to our database load? How do we know if it helped or not? Well, we go back into our profiling, and we'll see what happens. So I just just about right now, introduced uh, a new query. We see a little spike. There might be a contention to compile a new query. And then it looks like the database is pretty idle. So that query is still running, and it's still running at the same rate. I have a um, sh Unix shell scripts that are uh, timing how f they're running this query uh, three times every eight seconds by five different users. So the load hasn't changed. But now we have an almost idle database. That's a super quick walkthrough of the product. What I showed you works across SQL Server, Sybase, Oracle, DB2. It makes SQL tuning a data